In this video we're taking a look at the forms bot and this is a neat little function that sits inside all of your class teams but I will say right from the outset that this function only works in public channels so if you've got private channels for group work you won't be able to use the forms bot in there but in any of these uh, public channels that don't have locks on them the forms bot will work. Now the way that we use the forms bot is to ask one simple question and so examples might be how are you feeling about today's lesson you could use it as an exit card you can use it as a voting tool as a way for the class to submit their vote um, so that you can make an educated and democratic choice and there's lots of other ways that you could use it it's simply a single question with options that students can add their own thoughts and responses to very versatile in that way the way that we use it is super simple you go into your posts section of teams again it must be in a public channel not a private and you go new conversation now here you type at and you type in forms and as soon as you do that you'll see a suggestion forms and you'll click on that now here you get a few options and the easiest one I find where you've got access to some extra support and guidance and features is this last one here where we create a new poll so I'll click on this last one here with the plus on the left so we'll use this as a simple exit ticket now there are other ways you can do it using the reflect tool but I'll show you how you can customize this type of a, a workflow using the form spot to create your own exit ticket so here I'll go how well did you and you can see how we've got some AI kicking in as soon as I've posted that at the top it's starting to give me some suggestions so how well did you complete today's task and I'll go at all or I can just go through and manually drop some in so I'll go at all and you can see what it's done there but I'm going to add one more option and this will be help please as another option here and you can keep going as much as you like you can also turn on multiple selections but in this case it wouldn't really work I want them just to simply indicate one of these responses so going down here we are going to record the names of respondents importantly otherwise you won't know who put what but only you as the creator will see this and we are going to share the results with our respondents and we now go to preview so this is what it will look like to the students and if I want to I can go back and hit edit we can test the form and if we're good to go we'll hit the send button so that's now been sent and if I scroll down you can see that this has been added in here there's our form that students will see they might also get an alert that this has been added now you're probably wondering where do we see this data when a student completes it so this is me now in a student account so I'm in a private window and if I go up as a student I can click that I went somewhat well today and I can submit my vote So we can see that one student, myself in this case, has chosen this as a response, but we don't know who this person was. So in that sense, it's anonymous to the class. I'll now jump back into my team view, and you can see here that it's the same thing. I can see what the students have submitted, but I can't yet see who indicated what. So to drill down into this response, we're going to go into the forms dashboard. So we are in forms.microsoft.com and if we go here into my forms you'll see that the form that I've just generated has been added here to the left. So this here is our form. The question can't be edited because it was made in Teams using the form bot as it's called but we can use this to review the responses. So if I click on the responses tab so this is an alternate view it still has the same results of course but if we want to see who said what then in the privacy of this forms dashboard we can go in and click on more details and we can see the names attached to the responses and that's how you can use the forms bot it's very easy to set up a form and it's easy to share anonymously the results of that simple one question poll 
two students in the feed space here. To drill down into who said what, we go into the forms dashboard.